Get your popcorn ready, dim the lights, and let's embark on a movie adventure like no other. Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we celebrate the silver screen, one frame at a time. Today we are going to see about The Equalizer is a 2014 American vigilante action film directed by Antoine Fuqua and written by Richard Wenck. It is the first installment of The Equalizer trilogy and loosely based on the 1980s TV series of the same title. The film stars Denzel Washington in the lead role, along with Martin Chokas, Chloe Grace, in the film, a retired U.S. Marine and DIA agent reluctantly returns to action in order to protect a teenage prostitute from members of the Russian Mafia. The plot pretends to be Robert McCall, a former U.S. Marine and DI officer, now lives a quiet life in Boston, where he works at a hardware store. He helps his colleague Ralphie train to become a security guard. Unable to sleep, Robert often spends late nights reading at an all-night diner. Over time, he has Befriended Terry, a teenage prostitute trafficked by the Russian Mafia. The pair often talk about the books he has been reading. One evening, while taking a stroll, Terry shares that her real name is Alina and that she dreams of becoming a singer. Her pimp Slavi abruptly arrives, hits Alina, and forces her into the car. He hands a stunned Robert his business card and drives away. Alina is badly beaten and admitted to the ICU at a nearby hospital. Upon hearing the news, Robert travels there and learns from her friend Mandy, another prostitute, that Slavi is responsible. He finds Slavi and his men at their restaurant and is bluntly refused when he offers to buy Alina's freedom, Robert expertly kills the men and leaves. Unbeknownst to him, Slavi and his men were part of a much larger syndicate led by Russian oligarch Vladimir Pushkin. Teddy Renson, Pushkin's enforcer, arrives in Boston to investigate the attack. Aided by Boston PD detectives on Pushkin's payroll, he canvasses rival gangs. In the area, nearly beating Irish mob lieutenant Little John Looney to death to send a message, Robert continues exacting vigilante justice on criminals he encounters, blackmailing two corrupt police officers into returning racketeering money to Ralphie's mother and beating a gunman with a hammer after he robs the hardware store, taking a co-worker's heirloom ring from her mother. Teddy kills Mandy after learning that she concealed information about Robert and lied about her friendship with Alina. He visits Robert at his apartment, posing as a police detective, but Robert does not fall for the guys. Teddy flashes a picture of the strangled Mandy before walking away, offering it as a warning. Teddy and his mercenary group fail to abduct Robert on two occasions. Robert travels to visit his DIA colleague Susan and her husband, Brian Plummer. Until now, it was long assumed that Robert died in a bombing incident long ago. He asks for Susan's help in identifying Teddy. She informs him of Pushkin's operation and that Teddy's real name is Nikolai Echenko, a Spetsnaz operative turned Russian secret police agent. She also reveals that Nikolai murdered two of the Boston PD detectives and that one of them, Frank Masters, had not been heard from in days. Robert tracks Masters down and threatens him into helping take down one of Pushkin's money laundering warehouses. Masters and Pushkin's men are taken into custody when the police arrive, and they find a note left by Robert to follow the money. He confronts Nikolai again, threatening to do more damage if he continues to pursue him. He later destroys two of Pushkin's oil tankers. In response, Nikolai abducts Robert's co-workers at the hardware store to force him to meet. To Nikolai's surprise, Robert skips the meeting with Nikolai and instead kills the men guarding the hostages. Nikolai arrives with his men, whom Robert kills one by one with improvised weapons collected throughout the hardware store. As Nikolai is about to kill Ralphie, who stayed behind to help, Robert kills him with a nail gun. Three days later, Robert finds Pushkin at his Moscow mansion, killing all his guards and tricking him into electrocuting himself to death. Sometime later, following her recovery, Alina runs into Robert. She thanks him for the money he left her, describing how she has started a new life. Inspired to continue helping others, Robert posts online ads as the equalizer. Join us for epic tales, intimate dramas, and thought-provoking masterpieces that resonate with our souls. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, 
so you never miss an opportunity to dive into the captivating world of cinema.